There are many ways to map domains in WordPress, yet with multiple domain mapping on a single site, you can create micro sites without installing WordPress on every domain. In this video, I will show you how to point a domain to a single WordPress landing page. This can be an advanced topic, but thankfully Seedprod makes this an easy process with its built-in domain mapping feature. Seedprod is the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. Seedprod is a drag and drop page editor that makes creating pages quick and easy for everyone. Please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and to learn how Seedprod can help create amazing landing pages for you. So the first thing we want to do is open up your WordPress dashboard and we want to head over to seedprod.com or you can click the link in the description. Now the feature that we're going to be using is called domain mapping and this is a feature that is only available in the pro and elite license of Seedprod. So go ahead and grab your copy of Seedprod right here. Now there's two quick things that I want to point out. If you come to the bottom of seedprod.com, we have a blog and we also have documentation. If you visit the blog, you'll see the latest Seedprod news, which is a great place to catch up on what's happening with Seedprod. As well, we have written versions of the tutorials, which I also leave a link to in the description. Let's also check out the documentation and let's click on pages and then we'll find that there's a domain mapping setup. And we just want to look for any important notices. So right here, it says note. So to set up domain mapping, your host must allow you to point more than one domain at a single WordPress site. Check with your host if you are unsure. And then it gives us a quick breakdown of the steps on how to use the domain mapping feature. So once you have an account, let's go ahead and log into Seedprod and enter your email address and password on the left hand side. Let's go ahead and click on the downloads tab and the big orange button here to download the landing page pro. We'll also need the license key here on the bottom left. So you can click the icon to copy that and we can close this tab for now. Next, let's go to plugins and add new and upload plugin. We can drag this zip file right here to choose file or you can click on this to choose the file on your file system. Let's go ahead and click install now and activate plugin. Right here, it's going to ask you for your license key. We can paste that in and click verify key. If everything goes fine, you should see a green success message here. If you're using the same browser as I am or something similar, you can close this download tab at the bottom. Next, to demonstrate the domain mapping feature, we need to actually install a page or create a page. Let's go to pages right here. And the domain mapping feature is only going to work on the landing pages. So let's go ahead and create a new landing page. Seedprod is going to ask you to choose a new page template. So you can create one from scratch. You can also filter these by type. And in the pro license here, you have access to all of the professionally designed templates. I'm just going to pick a random one for now and import this and give it a name. You can call this whatever you wish, save and start editing the page. And now you're presented with the Seedprod page editor. Now this is a drag and drop page editor. So you can drag and drop different blocks from the left hand side into your page. This tutorial is not about creating pages, but you can check out the other videos on the YouTube channel. So let's pretend at this point we've already created a landing page and we're all finished. We just want to go to our page settings. And at this point, we'll also say that we've already changed all of the page settings that we want and installed our SEO analytics and any scripts that we need. Down here, we see custom domain. So here we can see the domain mapping feature. So in here, you would put your domain name. I'll just put example.com. And right here, we have a button to force HTTPS. So this is if you have an SSL certificate installed on your domain name. SSL certificates are extremely common now, and it is highly recommended that you have your host install it for you if you're not sure how to do that. So I'm going to click this on, and you can see that it changes from HTTP to HTTPS. Next, we can change the custom domain here and switch that to on, and we can save this. So this is all we have to do to set up the domain mapping in Seaprod itself, but there is one more step. You have to set up an alias for your domain name to point to the landing page itself in your domain registrar or your web host. So depending on where your domain is located at, if it's with a domain register such as Namecheap or a host like GoDaddy or Bluehost, you can contact their support to help you with this if you're unsure about it. However, you could simply come to google.com and just type in the name of your host or the domain registrar. And then after that, just type in domain alias and then there should be some type of support documentation. So for example, here's Namecheap, how to create an alias record. And this will walk you through the steps on how to do that. A popular control panel is cPanel. So you can do the same thing. And there'll be some documentation on how to do that with cPanel. Unfortunately, there are too many different types of domain registers and web hosts to show a live example of this. I highly recommend that you contact support if there's any confusion about that for you. Other than that, the process is quite simple and that's all there is to it. Let's remember to save our page. And of course you wanna publish this to put it live. Now that you know how to point a WordPress landing page to a different domain, this would be a great time to learn how to build different types of landing pages. To get started, check out this video on how to make a sales page in WordPress which will walk you through the process easily step by step. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.